Next, we're gonna create a non-root user account. Again, this is another best practice. And just like any computer system, you don't wanna be running around using that root account for everything because it has all the permissions and it can do anything in your account. So by creating a non-root user account, you're limiting those privileges to least privilege. So you can really be granular with what you allow that account to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a non-root user. And this is important because again, we wanna limit privileges for user accounts and only allow those user accounts to do specific things. So we're going to go to services and then we're gonna to go to IAM and then we'll click users in the upper left here and we're gonna click add user. All right, username, we're going to type test user and for this specific user, we're just gonna do AWS management console access. For these other ones, for instance, the programmatic access, that can be really important if you want them to access the AWS API, the command line, or the software development kit. But for this purpose, this is gonna be fine. We don't have to go super in depth on that stuff. We'll do a custom password. That way we can just assign one. And then user must create a new password at next sign-in. So we're gonna give this user this password. They would log in and they'll have to change the password. And it won't let us use the one that we tried. So we'll just go ahead and do auto generated password. That's fine. We need to assign some permissions to this user. So we're gonna click create group. We're gonna call this test group. And we're gonna select administrator access to make this easy. You can make it a whole lot more granular than this and you definitely want to, but for this purpose, we're just gonna show it this way. So click create group. All right, we'll select next. And we're not gonna add any tags in here, but you can use tags to help identify various people or various characteristics of accounts. We'll hit next review. And so what's happening is we have our user, our test user. They're gonna be in the test group. And remember, they have administrator access. So we'll hit next to create the user. All right, and the user is successfully created. And then of course, we wanna email the login instructions if this was real life. If we go ahead and go to services and we go back to IAM and we go to users, we now see that we have test user in here and that was the user that we just created. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.